Hey guys, it's Ben and Armin here from Lyra Smart Home Solutions. Today we've got the Apple Home Pod, Google Home, and the Amazon Alexa. So we're just going to do a quick video here of these three devices working in the Smart Home. Um, we'll probably start with Siri. Go for it. Hey Siri, turn on kitchen pendants. Here we go. Hey Google, turn off kitchen pendants. Okay, turning the kitchen pendants off. Hey Alexa, turn on kitchen pendants. Okay. So you can see there the, the difference in delay between when you actually say something and the light's coming on. Siri was kind of pretty snappy. Uh, it's pretty much almost instant. Google and Alexa were kind of like, delay. yeah, a bit of a delay there, kind of a little bit behind, maybe a second or two behind. Will you notice that? Maybe, but I guess because we've worked with Siri three, before, yeah, we, can we kind of know that Siri is just like there. But apart from that, it's like, it's, it's minute details there whether you're actually going to notice that or not in the real world. Also, Google didn't respond to us, the others did. Yeah, the Google, well, it's actually Siri. So oh, Siri, yeah. yeah. Siri actually didn't say anything to us. Um, whereas Google Home and Alex actually responded back saying, yeah, the kitchen pendants are on. You go, well, why did Siri do that? Um, basically, Siri did that because she knows she's in the kitchen. Cool. She's kind of like saying, well, you're in the kitchen. Why am I going to give you an audible response as well when you're already there? Which is pretty cool because sometimes I guess you don't want to be hounded by voices all the time. You're just like, just do it because you can. <laughs> uh, I don't need you to tell me that you've actually done it, especially if you're in the same room. Yeah. Um, strip lighting. Yeah. So we've also got strip lighting in here. So we'll try Hey Siri, turn on kitchen strip light. Got it. Uh, we'll go, hey Google, turn off kitchen strip light. All right, turning the kitchen strip light off. Hey Alexa, turn on kitchen strip light. Okay. So you could also what, change colors. Yeah. Um, hey Google, Set kitchen strip light to blue. Sure, changing the kitchen strip light to blue. One thing we've noticed is with Siri is it's kind of, for some reason with strip lighting, you have to say it the color twice. twice. Yeah. So it's like, hey Siri, set kitchen strip light to purple. Okay, there you go. So it says it's done it, but it actually hasn't. Um, hey Siri, turn kitchen strip light to purple. Got it. Now it's done it. So second. So time. yeah. So that's something. It only really does it with strip, um, lighting. strip lighting yeah. for some reason. We're still trying to work on that and see why it's actually doing yeah. that. Yeah. Um, another thing is I guess wording. So yeah. what I call things in my house. So we'll say the dining room. So at the moment we've actually called the dining room lights is actually known as dining. So if I go to Siri, I can say, Hey Siri, turn off dining room lights. Okay, there you go. So dining room lights have gone off. Um, remember the keyword here is dining. If I say that kind of to Google, hey Google, turn on dining room lights. Sorry, I don't understand. But if I say, hey Google, turn on dining. Okay, turning on the dining. It came on. And Suri will understand both. So, hey Suri, turn off dining. Okay. Okay. So there you go. So thank you with Alexa. Yeah, Alexa you want to try this? Hey Alexa. Hey Alexa. Turn on dining room lights. Sorry, I couldn't find dining room lights. Hey Alexa. Turn on dining. Okay. Okay. So yeah. You gotta be very precise. So with this. you gotta get that keyword right. Whereas series kind of like you can kind of just talk a bit more naturally to her, yeah. um, in a way, which is, I guess it's how we operate. We don't actually talk like robots. robots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, so there's kind of all three. I guess another important feature is if you're stuck to one device. Yeah, so our guys have been able to get all three devices working within the same smart home. So if you've got people within the house that like um, Apple, the others might like Android or Google or Alexa, you can have all three working within the same smart home. Uh, which would be a great feature that our technicians have been able to achieve at Lira Smart Homes. Yeah, so you're not actually stuck with one device here. You yeah. can go with multiple. 
Um, we'll probably do another video later on showing the differences of why some are better than the other. A bit more detail. Uh, but I guess today is just more to show you guys that we have actually integrated with all three now with our smart homes. Yeah. So if there's anything else you guys want us to review or if you anything else you want us to ask these guys right on the table, um, just send us a comment below. Um, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always guys, don't forget to embrace your inner control freak. Thanks guys.